Some of us woke up to some wintry weather across the natural state on this Saturday morning, but we have another chance of some wintry precipitation in the forecast. I'll have the latest details on that just ahead. Tragedy strikes during a Dallas air show as airplanes collide in midair. What we know about what happened in less than two minutes. It seems inflation woes aren't keeping shoppers from buying. I'm Frederick Price with what experts are predicting this holiday season will look like. Plus, deer season is finally here. Why you need to be more careful moving along Arkansas highways. For joining us, I'm Ashley Godwin. We go to rapidly developing story out of Dallas, Texas. Hours ago, two historic military planes collided and crashed to the ground during an air show. Federal officials tell our sister station WFAA that at this time it was unclear how many people were on board the aircraft or if anyone on the ground was hurt. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and a Bell P-63 King Cobra collided and crashed around one this afternoon. The collision occurred during the Air Force Wings over Dallas show. We will provide updates on this story as they become available on THV11.com. Now bringing things back home, a shooting in North Little Rock last night leaves two teenagers dead. Here's what we know right now. The shooting took place around 630 Friday evening in a parking lot just off McCain Boulevard. Both victims were found with gunshot wounds in a vehicle. One person died on the scene, the other later at the hospital. Both were 17 years old. If you have any information about this, you are asked to contact the police. And with these cooler temperatures means fall festivals and Pulaski County Sheriff's Office is having theirs today. Sheriff Eric Higgins says this was all about saying thank you to the citizens. They sought to celebrate relationships between people and the police. Attendees today enjoyed music, bounce houses, food and games in addition to community resources. And taking things across the river, a celebration of growing families. November is National Adoption Month. This afternoon, Pulaski County officials, the Arkansas Department of Children and Family Services and First Pentecostal Church celebrated the adoption of 15 children with 12 families. Organizers say the event is a labor of love. Adoption changes lives. Adoption alters realities. It absolutely redirects pathways and it affects generations to come. This is the first time since the pandemic that local adoption celebrations have happened in person. This one is for our four legged friends today. Pet parents and loved ones hung out at Bark Bar for America's top dog competition. The Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, Mobile greeted folks who stopped by for the competition. That included, get this, matchups like the fastest tail wagging contest, dog costume contest, a talent show, and of course, a wiener dog race. Proceeds for today's event benefit the Arkansas Food Bank. And after a victory in Arizona, Democrats are one seat from holding on to control of the Senate. Now all eyes are on Nevada, where mail-in ballots are still being counted after last Tuesday's midterm elections. Christian Benavidez reports. Welcome, Senator Kelly. After Arizona Senator Mark Kelly became the projected winner in his race against Republican challenger Blake Masters, Democrats moved a step closer to retaining control of the U.S. Senate. It can be tempting to remain focused on the things that divide us. But we've seen the consequences that come when leaders refuse to accept the truth. Now, a Democratic win in Nevada or Georgia would clinch the party Senate grip. The Nevada contest between Senator Catherine Cortez Masto and Republican challenger Adam Laxalt remains too early to call while vote counting continues. And Georgia is set to hold a runoff between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker early next month. The GOP would need to win both seats to gain control of the Senate. 
with those two races outstanding, the new Senate is currently at 49 Democrats and 49 Republicans. Republicans are inching closer to control of the House of Representatives, but have not clinched it yet. And sources close to former President Donald Trump tell CBS News he intends to launch a 2024 bid for the White House on Tuesday. The senior Republican leadership is apoplectic that Trump is announcing next week precisely because it puts him back on center stage uh, with only three weeks to go until the December 6th Georgia runoff. A source says Trump's speech will focus on the economy, energy independence and crime. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. Looks like we have a little bit of time for weather. Yeah, Carlos, we got to make sure. Out. I know it was a little bit of a shortened show today, <laughs> right. but we do have another chance for some wintry precipitation by Monday night for northern Arkansas. So something to keep an eye out. A lot of us woke up to some wintry weather. It was earlier cold this, this morning. morning. Oh, it is. And it's not going to get any warmer this week. As you can see, we'll be stuck in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees all week long. Besides the chance of some light showers on our Monday night, that should be out by Tuesday morning and then the rest of the week is looking pretty quiet for us. We should see the return of a little bit more sunshine, but that next system that I'm mentioning Monday mm -hmm. night through Tuesday, that's what's going to keep us cold for the rest of the week. It's going to give us another shot of air, uh, a colder air. So we're going to be staying pretty uh, quiet for the upcoming week. It's so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'll have more details later tonight at 10 in terms of which areas will be likely to see snow or some wintry weather. We did see technically wintry weather here in Little Rock, Did I know, I know, wintry weather as in like some some ice pellets okay. and some, some, some okay. sleet, but some nothing cold that. Rain or, <laughs> yes, no, no snow, thank goodness. No. We had to drive here. <laughs> but either way, yeah, we do have another chance for some wintry weather by the time we get towards your Monday night and into your Tuesday morning. It's like Northern finally Arkansas. November. We're finally getting those cooler temperatures. The coats come out, so we, I can't. We had all about seasons it. this week. We had. 80s and then now we're back now we're, winter. now we're in winter yeah that's arkansas that's it for right now we'll see you back here tonight at 10.